Hey, good to see all of you. I am here today. This is Scientist Sherry, and I have another Do Science moment from the Kentucky Science Center. What have I got in front of me? Looks like ice. This, these are big. I know, this is nice, big, I, oh, that's cold, <laughs> which is ice. I just filled balloons with water, and I stuck them in the freezer, and I got these wonderful shapes. And the reason that I wanted a large block of ice is because we're going to do something fun. I don't know, maybe you guys have done this in the snow, but if you look at this one, this one's really smooth. This one has got all kinds of cool texture on it because I took some salt and I did this. I just sprinkled it on. I don't even know if you can hear that, but it's going And I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but the salt's reacting with the ice. And what the salt actually does is make it colder for a second and then it melts. And so I'm getting like little cracks and texture on this. So now I've got a water bottle that I put some food coloring in and I'm gonna spray it. And the color, ooh, I'm making a mess. Isn't that fun? I love making a mess. That's one of my favorite thing to do. So, you know, you might wanna put like something down on the table before you do this so you don't get like food coloring everywhere. But do you see how the color is going in those cracks and so I'm making art with some ice and salt and a little bit of food coloring and you could do this with different colors so like if I wanted to add like another color to this bottle and spray something on it and maybe add a little more salt you could just keep going with this and add layer after layer of color and you could put it in the freezer and keep it for a while, or you could just watch it melt away. Melting's kind of fun to watch because seeing how fast it will take to melt and then noticing the difference in how it melts where the salt is and how it melts where the salt is not. So something else that you can do with ice, this is kind of sculpting. If you notice, I've stuck these ice cubes together. If you notice, have you ever like gone with a glass of water that had ice in it and you went to go take a drink and this whole big chunk of ice went in your face because I've had that happen before that's because when ice melts and then the ice cubes get together it's cold enough between those ice cubes that they freeze back together but you can do that and make sculptures with ice on purpose so I've got another spray bottle this one's got warm water in it it's almost hot actually but this has got some nice warm water and this takes a little bit of patience so you're gonna spray your ice cube and kind of get it melting a little bit and then you take the other ice cube and you've got to hold it together for about 15 to 20 seconds I know that seems like a long time but it's really not that long and see look look it's stuck now I've got two ice cubes stuck together and as you can see here you can start building with it see how high you could build could you make like a total ice tower could you make an igloo what else could you make just with some warm water and some ice and a little bit of imagination so again what do we do with this ice salt food coloring in a water bottle and if you wanted to make big ice, you could do it with the little ones. But if you want to make big ice, balloons are a really good way to do that, or maybe a plastic bowl, or you could freeze water in a milk jug. That'd be a different shape. Those are all kinds of things that you can do. So I encourage you to try this at home, experiment, and I really, 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 really want to see what you make. So if you would be so kind as to take a picture and post it and tag us, the Kentucky Science Center, so we can see the amazing creations that you've made with just a little ice, salt, and imagination. Thank you.